When somebody asks me, Teddy, what's your favorite watch that you own? One of the first watches that comes to mind is my Nomos Orion. And after owning this watch for nearly two years now, it really does blow my mind. Why have I not done a review of this thing? Well, I think it's time to finally do it. All right, guys, let's jump into the review. Obviously, I enjoy this watch, so I'll try to be as objective as possible in terms of what I think of this watch. But first, let's take a look at Nomos as a brand. Nomos was founded back in 1990 in Glasuta, Germany, and has quickly become one of the fastest growing watch companies in the world. This is a result of a couple reasons. One being their incredibly clean Bauhaus, minimalist inspired watches, which some people love, some people hate. However, what you can't really debate is their incredible value of making 13 in-house calibers that are featured in all of their watches. And considering you can purchase a Nomos for starting prices at just over $1,000, you begin to see why this brand is growing at such a fast rate. And when looking at some of the most iconic designs of Nomos, one of the first that comes to mind is the Nomos Orion. The Nomos Orion is a simple but elegantly designed watch that features many different dial colors and case sizes, coming in a 33, a 35, a 38, 39, and a 41 millimeter diameter. However, in this video, we're gonna be looking at the 35 millimeter version. So starting off with this watch, let's look at the visuals. It features a stunning stunning curved steel case with elongated lugs with a width of 18 millimeters. The one noteworthy thing about this case, and even at the 35 millimeter version, with the lugs, the length of this watch is rather tall. The lug to lug height is 44 millimeters. And for a watch that's 35 millimeters, it definitely wears much larger than that. I personally would recommend the 35 millimeter version for probably anybody with a seven to seven and a half inch wrist and under. Uh, because it is going to wear rather larger. And this is of course a dress watch, so it's going to fit on the cuff. It's gonna look a little more sleeker um, and it will wear a little bit larger than probably you're anticipating. So I would recommend it for most people. If you are a higher risk, I'd go for the 38, but I'm so happy I went for the 35. But although the watch does have a larger case in terms of how high it is and how it wears on the wrist, it is very light when you are wearing it. It comes in with a case thickness of 7.4 millimeters and weighs just 38 grams. Literally, when I am wearing this thing, it feels like it is barely even on my wrist. It feels like I have nothing on my wrist sometimes. I'm forgetting I'm wearing a watch, which sometimes is a good thing when you're you know, messing around with your watch all day like I am. Taking a look at the dial, we are greeted with a simple looking silver dial that perfectly defers and calls attention to the gold colored hour indices and beautifully textures subdial seconds. However, one of my favorite visual components of this watch is its understated pop of color with its blue hour and minute hands. Now, all these visual components on the dial and case are one thing, but what really allows this watch to separate itself is with its movement. The movement featured in this watch is a Nomos in-house alpha manual movement. It is a 17 joule, caliber with 43 hours of power reserve and of course this manual winding. Winding the watch is buttery smooth and I must say, the finishing on this movement really does rival that of watches five to 10 times the retail price of this piece. When looking at the Nomos Orion's movement, I think this is really the money maker here for the brand and also for this watch particularly. When you're actually looking at the landscape of just watches in general, you realize how rare it is to actually get an in-house movement. There's only a select few amount of brands that actually offer them. And when you're looking at brands in this price range, I think Nomos from this $1,000 mark to the $2,500 mark, you're getting a ton of value. And of course they offer watches of beyond this. The Nomos Orion is one of the better value propositions when you're looking at dress watches uh, in the market today for wrist watches. All right, so, so far I've given a lot of praise to this watch, but just to try to be real and objective, I, I want to just point out a couple of things that I'm not as crazy about. So the first thing is a bit of a double-edged sword. It is the lugs. And like I mentioned earlier, they wear incredibly long. When you're looking at a Nomos watch, the cool thing about it is it has that silhouette. If you had just a blacked out dial, you could tell just by looking at the case and how it is structured that you're looking at a Nomos watch, which is really unique. The other thing about that though, that maybe isn't as great, especially for somebody with smaller wrists and are looking for a watch that maybe has a smaller presence, this is certainly going to be a larger dress watch because of those lugs. Very long and you know, for some people it might turn them off. And the other thing that I think is maybe not as unfortunate about the watch, but more just polarizing is its design. It is so traditional Bauhaus style that I think some people 
It's just not gonna be for them. And despite the value proposition that it really does provide, I think people are just gonna turn away just in the sense that it is going to have a bit of a style that's not gonna cater to everybody. So just another thing that I think is a fair assessment when you're looking at this watch. So what is my verdict of this watch? As somebody who is a younger guy and appreciates timeless style and embracing the times, this was a watch that really stood out to me when I was looking to buy a dress watch. Although I know Nomos is certainly not going to be a design style that everyone is going to like, I think the Orion sums up what Nomos is all about and is a perfect example of where I think up and coming watchmakers need to look in terms of how to compartmentalize style, craftsmanship, and value in the 21st century. So my verdict, I think this is one of the best value dress watches on the market. And for a younger guy or gal that's looking for perhaps their first luxury dress watch, I think the Nomos Orion needs to be on those short lists of watches to consider. So guys, what do you think of the Nomos Orion? Like I mentioned, I've had this watch for a while and it kind of blew my mind, the fact that I have never done a review on it. So I wanted to give it a shout out today. It's one of my favorite watches, but I'd love to see comments down below about what you think of this particular piece and also Nomos as a whole. But guys, if you like this video, if you want me to do more reviews, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Also be sure to go follow me on Instagram, fill out the watch form down below if you wanna be entered to win the watch giveaway. We give away a watch every single month on this channel here. We're giving away a Seiko SNK803 this month. And then if you want to support this new generation of watch lovers that we're trying to foster up in this channel, go check out our Patreon. Any support there would be greatly appreciated. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.